Hey guys, what's up? It's Bella, and today I'm just going to be making a video of a few fish updates. And at the end of the video, I'll let you guys know what my schedule, like my uploading schedule is for this week. So, yeah. But let's start off with the sorority. So I did kind of redecorate it. Um, a lot of my Java friend died, but my Anubias isn't going strong. Um, everything else is doing great. The girls are doing great as well. I did add this little air pump thingy as well. I just wanted to tell you guys that Opal actually jumped out of the tank when I was feeding them. So she is a she is a very high jumper. Just to let you guys know, because she can jump like two and a half inches in the air. She is really crazy. Um, also, my Cory cat in here died. If you watched my last video, you would know that already. If not, you should go check it out to see where I'm at. But I had him for a year, so he basically died from old age. Um, so let's move on to turquoise. So as you can see, the big update is that I divided it and put my brother's beta on one side and then turquoise on the other side and they are actually doing really great and uh charlotte which is his name made like 30 bubble nests there's one under this leaf and then there's one back there and then he's just going crazy with the bubbles and then tur here's turquoise and he's starting one as you can see over there and then under that leaf a little bit but they are doing fantabulous, and on shop side, they're just two silk plants. Sorry, it's not focused. Um, two silk plants, a little moon cave, and then the black gravel, his tunnel, and the thermometer. And then on top of design, his tunnel, two silk plants, a log, and then a shell with the black gravel and the tetraheater. So let's move on to Griffin. Okay, so I just have to apologize for the fish stuff, the water conditioner and food. I am crazy, guys. We all know that. But with Griffin's tank, I did switch his substrate. So, so, I'm sorry, I cannot talk right now. Substrate to sand. So he now has sand in here. And the filter, um, it has like a new and improved design. Um, with this weird clip thing that can't even work i don't suggest getting the texture filters anymore but uh it does have sand in here and it's kind of deconstructed right now i've just been throwing random silk plants i am finding in there so it's not really decorated but griffin is loving it with his heater and his kind of working filter and all his silk plants so griffin is doing wonderful finally on to the most exciting update so here's the 45 50 gallon tank community and i just have to inform you guys that all my guppies are dead i only have one potty left and the minnows and sapphire which is right there she's adorable so that's all the fish that are in the community right now but i'm going to be getting new fish tomorrow and I'm going to be making a vlog because I'm going to go to some other places with my dad. So make sure to look out for that. But anyways, in the corner here I have a breeder box because my female potty gave birth to 30 fry. I was only able to catch 27. But she had so much fry. And I did have to go through the tank and catch them all because I wasn't... I didn't know she was pregnant really because I wasn't expecting her to be pregnant since the male has been dead for over a month. So yeah, but the tank is looking great and I'll just show you the fry. So here's the breeder box and as you can tell I have a marima moss ball and some java fern in here and the fry love the marima moss ball. They like hiding under it and sleeping on it but they are so durable and they're only two days old so they're like super duper tiny but they are, I have so many, I'm probably going to end up selling them in the future when they're adults. But here, if I can get the camera to focus, there are so many, and I'll kind of get a side view. So, please focus, camera, oh my gosh, it's not focusing. Okay, so as you can see, there's some of them, and I did kind of copy um, Blazing Beta's idea of writing down 
the date and how many were born on the side of my aquarium. I thought it was a good idea and I tried out since she just gave birth. But there are so many fry and I had to catch them, every single one of them with my net. Yeah, it was really hard but so worth it because they are adorable. And there's the mama potty now and she poops so much. I don't know what's wrong with her. But she is the only fish like pooping in here, and she's pooping so much. But anyway, she's doing great. Sapphire's doing great, and all the Vedas are doing great. So is Neptune. I'm not going to show his tank right now because it's in my kitchen, and my parents are making dinner, so I don't want to be like uh, awkward talking in the background. But I'm just going to do a quick tank tour of the community. So the Anubius. Some java fern, a log with a silk plant in the back, a little plastic plant, and another silk plant on this log with a rock, and then a java fern. So, and then also I have this floating log that is not becoming a water log. It's been in here for like three months. But, anyways, the tank is doing great, the fish are doing great, and I am talking a thousand miles per hour. But there are the other tanks over there, and they are doing wonderful. So, I just thought I'd do an updates video since a lot has been going on with the new fry and Griffin's tank and dividing the five gallons. So, yeah. So no surprise, you're the loyal subscriber again. So, to make sure I know that, comment down, baby potties rule the world. Okay, bye guys.